Hello, my name's Tony Lupton and I work in this building behind me. I'm one of the 128 politicians who are members of the Victorian Legislative Assembly and Legislative Council. We're all members of the 56th Victorian Parliament. That means there have been 56 elections here in Victoria since responsible government in 1856. And that includes the 2006 state election. I'm also the member for Paran in the Legislative Assembly and the Cabinet Secretary in the Brumby Government. Each week that Parliament sits, I'll be posting an update to tell you about some of the important issues that are being debated in the Parliament and also about how this building works. But first, I'll start by telling you some facts about this place itself. Parliament is not in fact one building. It's a series of connected buildings constructed between 1856 and 1929. The front steps of Parliament House were built between 1888 and 1892. And from 1901 till 1927, the Victorian Parliament was the home of the Federal Parliament while we were waiting for Canberra to be designed and built. During those years, the Victorian Parliament moved a little way up the road to the Royal Exhibition Building. And one more fact, Victoria's Parliament is still unfinished. The original design by Peter Kerr called for another wing and a huge dome on the roof. But those plans were shelved during the depression of the 1890s. If you're interested in the history of Parliament House, I'd recommend you visit parliament.vic.gov.au or come to Spring Street for a free tour. The easiest ways to get here are Parliament Station on the train or the City Circle tram. And if you come back at the end of July, I'll be able to tell you about the next week in Parliament.